What's up guys? It's your boy Mike Reyes. You already know, back on my channel. And here we go again for another VC breakdown. I've... Kumbaga, medyo... Sige na ba ako last VC breakdown? Friday? Yeah, somewhere there. But... Or Thursday nga ata. Skyros nga ata yung last natin eh. Mali ba? Or oh, whatever man. But I'm happy to back. I'm happy, I'm happy to back. Okay, Mikey, simula pa lang. Alright, I'm happy to be back here again. Thank you very much to those who keep viewing, supporting the channel. I appreciate all of you sending in your kind words wherever you may send them in uh, comment section natin, sa DMs natin. I appreciate all of you, those who haven't subscribed. I don't know what y'all doing, man. Hit that subscribe button. You already know. More VC breakdown content coming your way. Alright, shout out again to VC25 Hoops, my guy. Follow him on Instagram. It's at VC25 Hoops. And for today, nag-send siya ng one of the most sought-after rookies in the recent 2021 PBA draft. And medyo nagkagulo lahat kasi nga nag-trade-trade para lang makuha itong player na to. Yep, Talking Text made a big trade um, including they released or they traded away their top point guard who by the way played so well in the bubble, Simon Enciso and also... Um, David Semerad to be able to get the number 4 pick. And we all knew they were eyeing itong si Mikey Williams for obvious reasons. He can be the next in line after... I've said this so many times, man. Coach Chotres has produced two of the best point guards the league has ever seen. Pwedeng sunod dun si Mikey Williams dun sa line na yon. And to be able to play with Jason Castro para dun sa, fa ano, dun sa last uh, hura ni Jason Castro sa ating liga. I can't say it. Like, hindi ko masabi na magre-retire na si Jason Castro. Or there will come a point na magre-retire na si Jason Castro. Hindi ko masasabi yun. All-time childhood idol. But, just to have that guidance coming from Jason Castro. And also, if ever, hindi maglaro si Bobby Ray Parks nga for TNT. This guy right here coming in, Mikey Williams, has the potential of being the focal point of any offense in the league. Just because, alam naman natin eh, like, he can score, he can put up buckets, he can really just control a basketball game all by his lone self. We've seen him do that with Mighty. We've seen him do that with Jensen Warriors uh, sa MPBL. But of course, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na just because kaya niya gawin sa Mighty yun, kaya, gawin, kaya niya gawin sa MPBL yun, eh, automatic, pagpasok niya ng PBA, ganun na ganun ang gagawin niya. But, he has, like, he, he's a hooper, man. And I'm, I'm not gonna be surprised if he can do that in the league kasi he's played in the ABL He's played in various professional leagues already. Nag-G League pa to. So, kaya nga medyo nagkagul. The only reason why, I'm telling you this right now, okay. The only reason why he wasn't the second pick. Okay, first pick, Joshua Monzon. I'm done justifying why Joshua Monzon was uh, the, the, the the most PBA-ready guy, two-way player that we have in the draft. Na talagang pang first pick siya, CJ Perez levels. But the only reason why he wasn't the second pick, and I'm telling you, lahat, lahat ngayon na nagsasabi na dapat second pick siya, hindi. They have a Robert Bolick. Northport has a Robert Bolick. Okay? So, you don't need a Mikey Williams. Naasar ako dun sa thinking na porkit may magaling coming up, eh hindi nyo nire-respeto yung nandun. May senior dun. Robert Bolick is coming off an ACL injury, yes, but don't discredit everything that Robert Bolick has done just because may nakikita kayong magaling na bata. Ito yung Pinoy mentality. Porkit may batang magaling, eh, tatanggalin mo na yung nandun. Hindi. Robert Pollock is there. You don't need a Mikey Williams for Northport. Kaya Jamie Malonzo talaga yun. Tapos, people are also saying, bakit hindi sa NLEX? Guys, may Kiefer Ravenna. Guys, may Kevin Alas. Huwag nyong... Hoopers know na porkit may magaling na bata, people are all hyped up. Oy, may magaling na parating. Yo, don't forget what Kiefer Ravenna and Bo Robert Pollock has done in the league and what they will continue to do. Okay? So, hindi talaga sila second and third pick. Hindi talaga second and third pick si Mikey Williams. Okay? Kaya nga 7 of 7, okay? <laughs> Alright, so I already knew that he was gonna go to talk and text. Medyo kinakabahan lang ako kasi syempre baka may lang may mangyaring ano eh, diba? But I knew basketball-wise, talk and text talaga si Mikey Williams because talk and text is the need of a point guard. Okay? Huwag niyong binabasto si Robert Bollick at si Kiefer Ravenna porkit may parating na Mikey Williams. Magaling si Mikey Williams, yes. Pero huwag natin kalimutan kung anong ginawa ni Robert Bollick at saka kung anong gagawin pa ni Robert Bollick at ni Kiefer Ravenna. Bakit, bakit daw hindi Northport? Bakit daw hindi Enlex? Eh, meron ng tao. Meron ng point guard dun eh. Okay? Okay. So, talk and text. They got someone like Mikey Williams and we all know what he can do offensively. He can put up buckets. Pero for this edition of VC Breakdown, VC sent us, um, what do you call this? 
playmaking coming from Mikey Williams. Para lang mapakita natin that he's not all about putting up buckets, man. He can control a basketball game. He can control a syst- uh, an offensive system. Or he can control a team offensively na talagang he's gonna share the rock. Okay. And to those asking bakit VC breakdown. VC kasi ata favorite. Si Vince Carter ata favorite ni VC hoops na player. Kaya VC. Alright. Quickly lang sinabi ko lang yun. But here we go. Mikey Williams playmaking uh, clips. Alright. Alright. Okay, Mikey Williams. Okay, so as we watch these clips, kailangan isipin na natin na nasa token text siya. Alam naman natin that he's gonna be the top point guard of token text. Because Simon Inciso was the top point guard of token text this past season. Now, I'm not saying top point guard na discredit na natin si Kuya Jason. But at the end of the day, man, si Kuya Jason, medyo iano na, na, ilo-load management na nila kahit papano si Kuya Jason. And I won't be surprised if, if ever si Kuya Jason pa rin mag-start, may minute si Mikey kasi hindi naman nila pwedeng sagarin si Kuya Jason the way Coach Chot played him before na talaga sagaran 40 35 minutes ngayon hindi eh. so we know that Mikey Williams is going to get a lot of runs so i-imagine na natin as we watch these clips na talk and text yung kasama niya talk and text all right so here we go Mikey Williams and i just want to say this because we all know that he can score ayan no mas madali for him to attract defenses kasi alam natin na scorer eh di ba oh attract attract lagi 2 on 1 break easily Mikey Williams finds the open guy and attracts the one defender na nandun. He just knows when to pass the basketball. And to the point guards watching right now, kailangan, or to the point guards na bata pa, na gustong, you know, na natututo pa lang. Guys, when you're a point guard, ang importante is you attract multiple defenders. Especially when you attack. When you're aggressive, you have to attract multiple defenders. And because of how you attract another defender, yung timing ng pasa mo very important. Not too late, not too early. Because if it's too late, baka ma-turn over ka. Okay, baka wala na sa rhythm yung papasahan mo kasi late na eh. ba? Diba? If it's too early naman, eh, hindi pa nakakakommit sa'yo, binigay mo na. Eh, di makakabalik lang yung depensa dun sa pinasaha mo. ba? Diba? So, kailangan, the moment he reacts or he lunges forward uh, going to you, dun mo ipapasa para hindi na siya makabalik. Not too late, not too early. And look at these passes by Mikey Willows. Pag, pag-attract na pag-attract niya, pagkuhang-pagkuhan niya ng depensa, puk, pasa na kagad. ba? Diba? Puk! Ngayon lang ako nakarinig ng pasa na ganun yung sound effects. <laughs> oh, See? Pag-attract na pag-attract niya ng kalaban, pasa na kagad, di ba? So that's Mikey Williams. And... Mm-hmm. Can you imagine if he's running the break and then, di ba, sinapugo yung kasama niya, di ba? Oh, nice pass though. Alright, Mikey. Oh. Oh, nice find! Nice find. Yo, the shooters of talk and text need to be ready. Namely, you... Kuya RR Pogoy. Nice pass there. RR Pogoy, Troy Rosario. Woohoo! Oh, nice pass. Mga Kelly Williams. Yung mga... Sino ba mga big man ng token text? Di ba? Ooh. Poy Eram. Mga ganyan. Oh my gosh, field day kayo pagkasama si Mikey Williams. And with Mikey pa, the thing with Mikey Williams is, he has the play, the, the, the handles to get to any spot on the floor. Only a few point guards in the league have the ability to get to any spot on the floor pag gusto nila. Jason Castro is one of them, Alex Cabagnot is one of them, Terrence Romeo, Stanley Pringle, Kiefer Ravenna, a lot of them, di ba? Or, di. Relatively konti lang kung lahat ng point guard sa PBM ang pinag-uusapan natin. Pero merong mga players talaga that can get any spot on the floor as they please. Sina Paul Lee, di ba? So, Mikey Williams is one of them. And I think that's the main uh, reason why he can create off the dribble para sa teammates niya. Kasi kaya niya ilusot eh. So, pag nalusutun niya yung first man niya, makaka-attract siya ng isa pa. Oh! Okay! Oh, Mikey. You see what I'm saying? Like, he can attract multiple defenders. Ang galing niya mag-handle. Very tight handles. And he knows where to pass the basketball. Kick out. Oh. See? Kick out. Drop pass. It doesn't really matter, man. Can you imagine Troy Rosario, RR Pogoy, uh, Ray Ray Parks, if he does play? Talagang ready to score ka dapat. Another kick out there to Pamboy Raimundo. And Mikey Williams is just dissecting defenses right now. Oh. Look at that. See? He knows, like, he knows where to pass the basketball. Look at this play right here. Oh, 
lima yan, no? O, nakaload lahat sa lobo. Sobrang sikip dito. Sobrang sikip. Ang ganda pa nung cut nito. Sobrang sikip. So, hindi niya pipilitin dito kay Robbie Celes sa ilalim. Nahanap niya to. Or beta. Oh, look at that. Inside, outside. He just knows what to do. Okay. That's another nice pass there for Mikey. I'm telling you, man. Like, he just knows where to pass the basketball. And also, sasabihin ko to. I don't know if the system that Coach Chot will bring to TNT ngayon is the same system he had before. Na four-out offense, dribble drive, di ba? But if he does, Mikey Williams is perfect talaga. Kasi he has the ability to drive, to slash. Oh, look. See, one-on-one, -on -one isolation. Attracts four defenders. Four! Four! Tingnan mo, open, open to. Open to. Di ba? Like, he's just gonna be perfect in a, in a TNT kind of offense. Imagine. Imagine, guys. Troy Rosario. R.R. Pogoy. Uh, that's a bucket, man. That's Roosevelt Adams pa. Yun. Oh, Timo. On the break. Okay, so here are the love passes coming from Mikey Williams. He's also a great love passer. And saktong-sakto pabalik na si Kelly Williams. I'm sure Kelly Williams is excited to get passes like this. Kelly Williams, one of the best alley-oop dunkers the PBA has ever seen. Look at that. Right on the money. Kelly Williams and Mikey Williams. Kelly Williams and Mikey Williams pick and roll is going to be scary. Look at that. See? Saktong-sakto eh. Galing. Whoop. Ah. Yep. Ah, oh, man, we're gonna see a lot of Williams to Williams connections. Pocket pass, nice pass. Ito naman, sa pick and roll. Usually, mga kasama niya, Troy Eram, Troy Rosario. He knows how to use the pick and roll then well. Look at that. Pocket pass. Galing, no? Troy Rosario streaking down the, the, the rim, to the rim. Poy, Poy Eram din. Oh? Uh, you know that you gotta be ready every time. Kasi talagang mahahanap at mahahanap ka ni, ni Mikey Williams. Nice! Troy Rosario needs to be excited, man. And Poy Era. They gotta be excited for this. See? Pick and roll on the break. Love pass, kick out. He's just really, really aggressive. Forward pass. Para sa mga tumatakbo. Di ba? The awareness, the awareness of Mikey Williams. As soon as he gets the basketball off the rebound, bato na kagad yan. Oh, oh forward pass. Oh, saktong sakto. Na, na ano din si Pamboy, ah. Namiesta si Pamboy, oh. Galing. Alright, so, Mikey Williams is just gonna be uh, one of the best point guards in the league. Mikey Williams is just going to be one of the best point guards in the league. I believe. If not now, in the near future. He really will be one of the best point guards. And not only can he get you a bucket, he can also really create for his teammates. And I think it starts from his bucket-getting abilities naman talaga. Kaya siya nakaka-attract ng ganong karaming defenders. And again, like I said dun sa post-draft analysis ko, Talking Text made the right move. Trading away key guys. To get someone like Mikey Williams. Like Mikey Williams is, can be a generational talent in this league. Mikey Williams has the potential to be the next Jason Castro. And how will he be the next Jason Castro? He needs to learn from the Jason Castro. And the guy also who coached Jason Castro. Diba? During his prime years. So, talaga, this is exciting times for talking text. They finally have a point guard to... Kumbaga, matagal-tagal na yung... Kumbaga, we were always waiting for the next man up. After Jimmy, it was Jason. Na nagsabay pa ngayon eh. Pero like, you get what I'm saying? Naiwan si Jason. Ngayon na, I'm not gonna say it! But it's inevitable. At some point, we will see Jason Castro walk away from the game. And Mikey Williams is not gonna be far behind. Kasi nga, may few years pa siya talaga na matuto kay Jason Castro. And I know Kuya Jason. Kuya Jason will be open. Will 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 take um Mikey Williams under his wing and really try to help him out. Kasi alam nila na siya yung magiging future ng token text. I'm just excited, man. Coach Chot is back. Um... Troy, RR, 
Poi, Jason, Kelly is back. Now they have Mikey Williams. Hopefully, uh, they fix the the issue with Ray Ray Parks. If he does play, then talk and text just might be um not a dark horse. Eh. Pero like we're all focused on Magnolia getting Calvin. We all folk. We're all focused on Stan Hardinger to Hinebra, CJ Perez to San Miguel. But TNT made moves, man. TNT made moves, and getting Mikey Williams is one of the biggest moves in the off season. I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Talking about the team of talking text, missing piece ngayon si Mikey Williams. All right, so exciting times ahead for all of us. Okay, so there you have it. That's my VC breakdown. Para kay Mikey Williams, the number four pick in the recently concluded PBA draft. And I'm really, really excited for him to join forces with the rest of TNT. And yeah, we're looking forward to that. Again, thank you very much to VC25 Hoops. Follow him on Instagram. Make sure to catch all his content also on his Instagram page. And to those who keep on supporting and viewing this channel, I appreciate all of you. Alam nyo naman yan. Hopefully, may natutunan kayo dito sa ating uh, edition ng VC Breakdown for Mikey Williams. To those who haven't subscribed, I don't know what y'all doing. Hit that subscribe button. You already know more basketball content coming your way. The name is Mike Reyes. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your future. Peace and love. And I'm going to see y'all very, very soon.